Danita with Broody Bands, and today it is National Pajama Day. All you're going to need is your messy hair, your PJs, and seven minutes. Most likely, you're headed to work and you're gonna be sitting a lot today. So we're gonna actually prepare your spine and your back to be able to handle all the sitting that you plan on doing. I want you to become pain free. I want you to feel healthy and energetic and that's what this is all about. The more that I keep you in motion and keep you in these great exercises, it's going to help you move that body which is gonna create new oxygen, new blood and new muscle. That is our focus today. So grab your phone or something that you can use to time yourself because what this is is seven minutes and seven exercise. It's spelling pajamas. So the first one, P, is plank. So go ahead and start your timer. If your wrists are, are a little bit um, not as comfortable going into a plank, go onto your elbows, which I'm gonna do, okay? So I'm gonna start with a modification first. Go ahead and watch my modification, then I'm gonna show you advanced next. So go ahead and hit your timer with me. So modification, you're gonna go ahead, I've shown you this several times in all my, all my uh, videos. You're just gonna have draw a straight line from your head all the way down to your knees. Your biggest focus is you wanna have that mind-body connection, and so you can really start to feel your uh, core engaging. Hence, it also is working your upper body and also it's going into your back as well, really strengthening your spine and all that. So here's up on your hands. You can also take this um, modification down onto your elbows. And for my advanced -er, you're gonna go ahead and just pop right up onto your toes. So the first one is if you wanna be up onto your hands, really spread those fingers out so you're distributing the weight. And then the other one, you can just drop right down to your elbows. So here, your biggest focus again, I want you to have that mind-body connection, really listen to your core. And if you really feel like you're tightening and squeezing your core, and you feel it really, really nice down in the center right through here, then you're doing it right. And because I was talking so much, we only have two more seconds. Woo! Great job. All right, so you also can use your booty band in this, so it would look exactly like either this, this, or for your modifications here or here. You can also add some little fun flavor too. If you're up here, you can always just go into an abductor, so um, side to side, whatever feels great, or you can even add some jumping jacks in there. Next letter in pajamas is A. So it's gonna be alternating bird dog, which looks like this. Go ahead and go down onto your hands and your knees. And go ahead and hit your timer for one minute and you're going to lift one arm and the opposite leg up. By the way, I am profusely sweating in this. So hopefully your PJs are not as intense as mine. So after about five second hold, you're gonna go ahead and switch to the other side. Really focusing on really lengthening through your arms and your leg. Rather than going up too much, you're really focused on going out. And then go ahead and switch. Your focus here is keeping your hips towards the ground and keeping a nice strong core. Again, it's really going to help make your back stronger. And if you have any issues with sciatica or piriformis, this is a great one to really create movement into your body, therefore causing healing powers. You're welcome. 15 more seconds. Again, keep that neck nice and straight. You don't wanna have an arch in your spine. Keep your spine nice and straight. Look, that was so easy. Oh my goodness, we're done. You can get this booty band in the link below. They're absolutely fantabulous because they come with so many exercises, a diet plan, and a beautiful community. So. Don't miss out and grab your booty band. You can also do this with a booty band. So what you're gonna do, go ahead and go into this position and this is going to be strengthening your glutes. Meanwhile, you're still strengthening your back and getting all those benefits. You're just adding a little bit more resistance because you are getting stronger and stronger through each one of my booty burning exercises. All right, the next letter in pajamas is J. So we're actually gonna go a little bit backwards in the J because I really wanna focus more onto your glutes. So what I mean by that, go ahead and lay onto your side where your hips are stacked on top of one another. 
just like this. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and pop the top leg out. You can keep it nice and flexed through here. That's when I really start to feel the back of the leg and the hamstring working, okay? So you're gonna start up at the top. You're gonna come down and swing back. Nice, good squeeze back there. You're really gonna feel your bum cheek and then come back and up. So start your timer and let's go ahead and go. You've got a total of 30 seconds on one side and 30 seconds on the other. Here we go. Ooh, yeah. Sweating and burning. Really nice, slow and controlled movements. I'm not wiggling my body or moving it around. You're just staying nice and controlled. Great, that was 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and switch to the other side. Here we go. Up and back. Ooh, like it. Oh, didn't hit the timer. Hope you did. See that switch? I just started flexing my feet. Really noticing a good difference there. Good, a few more seconds because I was late to starting my timer. Ooh. Filling it, filling it, filling it. Awesome, relax. The next letter is A, so we are going to do airplanes. I'm gonna start off with a modification first, so go ahead and lie completely down. From here, this is great for those, again, for any, if you have um, back problems. So for airplane, go ahead and just start your timer. <clears throat> and what you're gonna do is you're gonna first just lift yourself up, pressing your hands into the ground and coming back. Really focusing on keeping your spine in alignment here. So not arching your back or arching your neck. Okay, so after you do that, if you feel like you can go into a more advanced, go ahead and bring your hands down and come up using your triceps to push you up and go there, okay? So this is about more of a um, moderate. And then after that, we're gonna go into full advance. So from here, you're just gonna bring your hands out in front of you and come down. What you're doing here is you're really focusing on strengthening your lower back in positions that it doesn't normally go in. So very small movements, doesn't have to be too extreme. After that, you can go into your leg lifts as well. So this is the last and final for this advancement. You would lift both legs and both arms at the same time and come down. Again, very small movements, very controlled, very slow, and focusing on your breath. Beautiful. If it feels nice and warm through your low back, then you did it correctly. Please make sure that you really listen to your body. If it feels like it's in any sort of sharp pain, then please stop the move. Pajam, the M, it's for March. So go ahead and just place your booty band on the top, right above your knees, so right onto your thighs, and you're gonna go ahead and lie down onto your back. Make sure that your back is connecting to the bed or the floor, wherever you're at. From here, you wanna make sure that your feet are about hip distance apart. You're gonna go ahead and press your heels into the ground as you create a nice good line from your knees all the way down to your shoulders. Really focusing on lifting your glutes up. If you feel like you wanna make a little bit of a, an adjustment, I'm gonna go ahead and bring my feet a little bit closer in, so that way I'm really feeling like I can get the best, the best form here. Okay, so next, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go into a marching. So as you keep your hips nice and stable, you're just gonna lift one leg up and then come down. Really focusing on that one leg that's, that's on the ground still, that's the one that's really gonna be working as your abs are working because you're drawing that knee in. Meanwhile, your back is definitely getting stronger right here. So go ahead and start your timer. One minute, let's march.
If your bum wants to fall down, make sure that you're squeezing it nice and tight so that you are not caving down and letting it droop down, okay? Good work. The A is going to be alternating hamstring stretching. So what I have learned, if you are having any sort of lower back issues, don't just stand and just do a toe touch because that actually puts a lot of pressure onto your lumbar um, or your discs per se, okay? So instead, what you wanna do is go ahead and lie onto your back and from here you can use a booty band here or if it's a little bit uncomfortable, then don't. Go ahead and just bring your feet straight up into the air and from here you're just going to work with one leg at a time. So as one leg drops back, you're gonna bring one up and you're just gonna focus on really just pointing and flexing that foot because we don't spend enough time in our ankles and sometimes they get really stiff as we age. So as you're stretching that hamstring, play with that foot rotation, you have one minute here. Nice, slow and controlled. Your biggest focus is breathing through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. You can really play with the resistance of that band and really push that other one down so you're getting a nice, good resistance there. Roughly about five seconds on each one or whatever feels right for you. All right, good job. The last one is S, and this one is going to be your standing glute lift. Now this one is going to help with the gravity of my saggy booty over here, okay? So what you're gonna do first is go up to something, this is a modification first, go up to something that you can hold on to so you make sure that you're not going to tip over because of balance, okay? So as you hold on to something, what you're gonna do is you're gonna focus on the standing leg. The standing leg is going to be kind of slightly bent through your knee. That way you're not completely um, straightening it out and allowing a lack of blood flow, right? So keep it nice and strong by a slight bend in your knee. From here, focus next on your core. Okay, so your core, you always wanna be nice and tight and firm through here. That in turn is going to help that lower back. From here, we're gonna focus on your glutes now because your glutes are your powerhouse and when your glutes are strong, it also is a foundation to your back. So we're gonna go ahead and just bring that back leg and go at an angle if you would like. But what I'm, what I'm gonna do is kinda of go more at like an eight o'clock, that, if that helps you kinda of get like a, on a clock scale. So just at a back angle here, I'm gonna really focus on my glutes. Now have that mind-body connection that you're really going to be squeezing and holding up at that top, okay? So go ahead and start your timer, and we're gonna do 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. Really burning, really filling this one. Are you? Awesome, let's go ahead and switch to the other side. I hope that this seven minutes today is going to help alleviate your back pain because we do a lot of sitting throughout the day. So I hope this helped. If it did, comment below and let me know if you liked it. If so, go ahead and subscribe as well because I've got more videos coming your way. Again, if you do not wanna know what a booty band is, a booty band is not just a band. This band is super durable, very sturdy, and super comfortable during your workouts. 
And not only did I just want to provide a band, but I wanted to provide workouts that really can help you throughout your day. Really feel the burn in all the right places. And so that way you get a true transformation. And if you need some accountability, there is a private Facebook community called Booty Bands Members. And it is a phenomenal group of thousands of women that are there just to only uplift, support, and give you love during your transformation journey. So go ahead and click in the link below and subscribe because this unicorn loves you. Happy National Pajama Day. Don't think for a second that on date night I'm taking it off. <laughs> the next letter in pajama is P. So we are going to do, nope. Wait a minute. It's what? A. <laughs> <laughs> Delete that one. The next letter in airplane is A. So we are going to do airplane. I think I said that wrong. 